this is so exciting so today we're gonna start filming our cardigan video and i'm gonna split it into three days uh, we're gonna do today day one which we're gonna work on the back piece and start on the front two pieces tomorrow we're gonna connect the two front pieces and start on the sleeves and then day three just do ribbing and add extra things so this cardigan in particular i am expi inspired expired <laughs> inspired by coffee so I'm going to use off-white color with brown. So it's going to be off-white, brown sleeves. And then on the back, I'm going to say I love coffee and then have a coffee cup um, crocheted at the bottom. But then also I'm going to do, um, which is fun, I'm going to do some squares. And then I'm also going to make those coffee coasters that I found a really good video on YouTube to do that. And then um, attach those to the square and then make them as pockets in the front. And so I think that will be kind of fun. Um, what else? I want you guys, when you before we start, I want you to pick your own color. I also want you, if you have your like a favorite stitch or something, use that. I'm using my stitch that I use for almost all my cardigans. The purple one with hearts, the yellow with black. Almost every cardigan is that same stitch I use, which is just um, lemon peel stitch, I want to say. And it's just double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, alternating. Um, but the biggest thing is go with what you guys want to do. What is an idea of the cardigan that you guys have? So um, I'm just going to give you the tutorial for the shell of the cardigan, but then it's up to you to go farther in the YouTube and research, oh, how to crochet flowers and then add them all over the cardigan, how to crochet clouds, how to crochet hearts, all those things. And then you just add them everywhere or wherever you want to. And then that's going to be your idea. You know what I mean? And that's what um, we're going to work on. And I already recorded um, the video and so kind of for an example. So I'm using the off-white, this is the back piece. Then I had this really nice cotton left over from forever. <laughs> and so I thought I could use that um, to kind of put it in there and I think that's gonna give a really nice effect. Hi guys, so today we're gonna start working on our cardigan. We're gonna use some yarn and I'm going to use 3.25 millimeter hook. You can use any hook. Um, I just like this one because I like my cardigans to be tight. And I'm gonna use the same stitch that I always use, the lemon peel stitch that everyone likes so much. So first thing, we're gonna chain 74 or a back piece or 70. I think I'm gonna do 70. So let's chain 70 chains. One, two, three, Forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy. All right, this is gonna be our back piece. Um, seventy chains. Um, by the way, you guys can stop it at any time and you know do it on your own and then replay it. You know. It's on YouTube, so you're good. So now we're gonna chain two more chains. So we have 70 chains, we're gonna chain two more to beat out the yarn, and then we're going to double crochet in our 70 stitch. So one double crochet, and then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet. This is called lemon peel stitch. Then we're going to double crochet in the next stitch, in our third stitch. Then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to double crochet. And then we're gonna repeat that throughout the row and then single crochet. Then we're going to double crochet. Then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then double, and then single, oops, and then 
so that was single so then double if you ever get lost or confused just look at the previous stitch because if you had a double you always know it's going to be single next if you have a single you always know it's going to be double next make sure don't get two doubles in a row because that will kind of mess it up for you double single so we're going to do that for the rest of the row double single double You guys can totally stop this and just um, do it on your own or you know watch netflix podcast so i'm gonna just do a few rows and show you so then you guys can get comfortable and then just go on your own for you know how many rows you want 50 rows i usually make them about 50 50 rows and then i'll do um ribbing but like for my boyfriend when i made his cardigan i think i did like 80 something rows so it just depends on your desired length but let's repeat this. Single, double, single, double. Super excited about this cardigan. I have this really cool idea of like making a coffee inspired. So on the back, it's gonna say I love coffee. And then in the front, I'm gonna put um, two squares, but then I'm gonna make, I'm gonna crochet two cup coasters and put them on top of the squares. So the pockets will be like two coffee mugs type of thing. Double, single, double, single. And so the stitch does take a little while to get used to it. Um, some people get it faster than others, obviously, but don't rush, you know, just keep practicing. Um, I had some, I had a hard time when I first started trying to stitch. And then I just, I just kept working on it and then it just got better and better. Right now my tension is kind of, it's kind of hard. All right, double, single. And this is gonna be size, oversized, small and medium. So now we finished with oh a double a double single double so it's gonna be a single a double Sometimes people say that you can know which, uh, what stitch it is if it's big. So a big stitch always gets a double and a smaller hole gets a single crochet. But the way I always, say, uh, I always tell is whatever I end with the row. So if I end it with a double, I know my first stitch is going to be single. Single, double, single, and then alternate that. If I end it with a single, I know my first stitch on the second row is going to be double. And then single, double, single, double. And so, but yeah, you can also tell by the, so you can see this hole is bigger than this hole. So I know that's going to be a single and that's going to be a double. You can also look, you can see double crochet right underneath and you can see a single underneath. 
um, it does take practice to get used to that or to kind of realize, oh, this is what a double stitch looks like, this is what a single stitch looks like, but don't rush, guys. is going to be our second row and we're just going to repeat that for 50 60 you know you can even do shorter if you want it cropped it doesn't matter so first let's work on the back piece so i'm going to maybe face forward and then kind of show you speed it up and just show you me working on the back piece Double. And just remember that you always want to have, you know, 70 chains. How many chains you started with, you should have that same amount of chains. This is going to be our back piece. So now I end it with a single, single crochet. So I know my next one is going to be double. So we always chain two for turning chain. Always front piece, back piece, sleeves. We're always going to chain two and then turn around. So we end it with single. So then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to start with a double. And then just keep going, double, single, double, single, pretty easy, um, I think it's easy, but um, some of you might not, and that's okay, you know, it, it, I've been crocheting for quite a bit, so it's okay, you'll get there, double, but just keep going, single, double, single, Double, single, and double, single. So this is where I'm going to let you guys go and, you know, watch your favorite TV show, listen to your podcast, books, music, whatever. Whatever you guys like to do, sit at the park and relax. Um, but I don't think you need me anymore <laughs> for helping you. I think this is just pretty repetitive and then we're just gonna do row repeat of row one all the way to row 50 uh, for me um, your desirable green could be different so whatever your length is just keep going and then I'll meet you guys when I'm done with the back piece and we're gonna start on two front pieces <laughs>
piece. Um, I did total of 50 rows, like I said I would, and I kind of mix it up with some yarn, um, different colored yarn. So I did 20 rows of 70 chains, um, and then I did 15 rows of this yarn, cotton, and then I did 15 rows of off-white, and so that gave me 50 chains. I recommend having a notebook and just writing down um, how many chains you started with, and then different rows if you change it up. Um, this would be perfect time if you're trying to put anything on the back piece. So I will write I love coffee and then have a coffee mug um, on the on the back piece. And I'm going to do that right now because um, as we start attaching things together, it makes it a little bit harder and it's, it gets heavier because it's like a cardigan. So now we're going to work on the front piece. So what I do from the front piece... Um, so there's two front pieces. What I do first is how many chains you have. So mine is 70, yours could be whatever. I subtract b number between 5 and 10. And that gives me how many rows do I want for ribbing. So for this uh, example, I'm going to do minus 8. And so I'm getting 62. So, so the 8 is for ribbing. It gives us room to play with ribbing um, in the front and on the bottom. So 70 minus 8, 62. Now we're going to divide by 2 because there's two front pieces. So 3, 6, and then 0, and then 2 is 1. So 31. So each front piece is going to be 31. 31 um, chain front piece. And we're going to do the same thing. But remember, because your back piece, if you did do stripes or whatever design, um, and if you'd like to bring it in the front, remember, we're going to do um, 31 chains and we're going to do 20 rows of off-white. And then we're going to do 15 rows of this yarn um, and then go back to the other 15 rows. And so let's start doing that. So I'm just going to show you really quick. So we're going to do 31 chains. So it's just the same as how we started. So we're going to have our yarn. I'm going to move this away so you guys can see. My space is cluttered. <laughs> so here's this. And we're going to make 31 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, so this is 31 chains. Um, some of you might say, oh, this is too small for my front piece. Don't worry about that, guys, because we're going to add ribbing and, you know, you're, everything's going to be covered. Everything's going to be perfect. This is not my first cardigan. This is my... 11th cardigan that I've made and every time it turned out perfect. So 31 chains, then we're going to um, chain two, one, two, and then again start with double crocheting in that third chain. So you should have 31 chains by the time you're done with the row. So double crochet, then we're going to put next single, then double, and then single again. And then double. So we're just repeating what we did for our back piece, except this is going to go way faster because you only have 31 chains, way um, easier. I think the back piece takes the longest. Also, the biggest thing that I want to tell you guys is um, your hand will get cramped because you're doing so, um, you're crocheting so fast. Um, but just remember, no one's rushing you. Uh, YouTube's still going to be, this video is still going to be up. Um, you can pause it, you know, Take a break, like a week break, and then come back to it. Nobody's rushing you except yourself, <laughs> um, which I do get too excited and I rush myself. But that's okay for me. <laughs> I just don't want you guys to feel stressed or anything like that because that would not be fun. <clears throat> and so just alternate again. So we did singles, double. Mm -hmm. Having a lot of fun recording this, guys. And just remember, every time we, um, for the next row, we always chain two, and then we start our next row. So I'm just going to speed this up. Double, single, double, single. Oops, 
I got two loops. Double, single, double, single. If you guys don't like the stitch, I recommend doing half double crochet um, or, you know, single crochet, first row of 31 chains, and I ended on a double, so I know my next chain will be single. So we're going to chain two. We always chain two when we turn. And we're going to turn our work, and let's do a single. So one, double, two, single, three, we need this. Double, four, single, five, double, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 29, 30, we got one more, 31, perfect. So then we end up with a single, so our next one is going to be double. So chain two, always turn your work and double crochet. And just keep going for as long as your back piece is, um, just alternating single, double, single, double for, um, mine is gonna be 50 rows, so I'm gonna make two of these for 50 rows, and then I'll see you guys uh, when we're done.